Oh, welcome back my gardening friends to a ve very wet soggy uh, allotment uh, and that water is just from the uh, the last uh, 24 hours it's uh, October the 22nd 2022 and today we've got a rest from the rain and uh, we've managed to get quite a few jobs done in between one or two trees have been dug out. We've managed to get some of the uh, more of the uh, pallet collars in, but it was just so wet and uh, boggy, and uh, the weeds are already starting to uh, come again after being trodden on with the roots, etc. And I forgot to mention uh, the other day when we did the permanent potato bed, I got that spirit level out of a skip. And that's been really useful, really long, and it certainly helps when getting these uh, reasonably level, or should we say, pleasing to the eye. And we haven't found any more vine weevils in the uh, strawberries on plot one. Looks like they may have been all in the polytunnel on uh, plot three. No good putting plastic on these at the moment, everything's wet through, hopefully we'll get a, a dry spell. So we can crack on. I've managed to get another barrel with uh, these two ends on, similar to this one that we made uh, the original uh, trommel with for the leaf mould. Uh, originally it used to run off a wheelbarrow tyre on a petrol mower just there. Then we use the um, mobility scooter. So we had to put another piece of plastic on there. So I want to copy this onto here and uh, make it uh, a wee bit easier for the wheels to get a grip. So having the wire mesh on the outside instead of inside there where we've had to try and put the silicon, that does come off. So hopefully we can have this done and dusted, ready for next year. And uh, this cost me a few quid to make. Because we bought a full roll of this wire at £12.50. And of course there's loads more left on it. So once it's dried out, I'll uh, hopefully get this marked up. I've got about four hours here today, so I want to have a look at the material in the comfrey bin. This is just comfrey put into the bin and the juices just drain out naturally, no added water. Uh, that's what we've got left after feeding the tomatoes and cucumbers uh, in the polytunnel. So this will be totally different than the uh, comfrey uh, pipe because uh, that weight compacts it and we end up with the uh, comfrey cake as I call it. And that's what we've got out of that. Uh, we could have carried on, we could have, because the comfrey is still in uh, good health and uh, spreading. We need to do a little bit of work on this because uh, it's falling apart. It's been here quite a while, so I'm not too worried. But I do need to uh, do those reveals and uh, then we'll uh, sort the nettle tea out in this uh, blog today. We'll get the nettle put in there and we'll keep the comfrey in one container because that's a concentrate. So where we would use one part nettle tea and ten water as a dilution, we could go anything up to 40 parts water on the, uh, the concentrate. And the concentrate doesn't smell and it doesn't freeze. Not as I'd say you'd put it in your car, but smelly-wise, uh, this is the way forward if you've got time to break off the leaves. So the leaves went into the pipe and then stalks and anything else when I felt lazy went in the bin. But like I said, we could have done better if we'd had more time. So let's do the reveal. I haven't got my microphone in. It isn't too windy. So... I'll try not to do too much talking in front of the camera because you won't hear me so well.
and that's the uh, the filter to keep the solids in. The wife's old saucepan, she hasn't noticed it's gone. Just need something. And uh, that's what I call the uh, comfrey cake. I'll uh, put all that back together because if I don't, I'll end up uh, losing uh, all the bits. Now, when I said it didn't smell, I didn't mean this part of it. Oh, oh. by gum, what a howler. But uh, after it's dried out, uh, it looks like this. This is probably uh, last year's or the year before. I don't think I did any last year. And then uh, once it's blended, uh, it makes uh, a, a great addition. So we've got the juice and then we've got... Uh, the solids and I think I put some of the solids uh, in one of the potatoes uh, uh, last year but uh, the amount of material that's gone in there I'll just open it up I'll have to put my gloves on and think to think that there's probably hundreds and thousands of single leaves uh, gone into this over the uh, summer months when the comfrey uh, was available you don't get a, a lot left uh, at the end and uh, it does take a little bit of drying but i'll put it under sh under the shelter in a bucket and by the end of the summer of 2023 uh, it'll be ready to uh, pop into the blender similar to this but uh, there's no wastage let's have a quick look what's in the uh, green uh, bin and this is uh, obviously a lot drier and uh, if I can get uh, that wire out we'll uh, pop it straight into the uh, compost bin and as you can see there's lots of stalks there that uh, are really uh, flattened out so everything uh, has gone out of that and uh, friend the robin over there is uh, tweeting at me it says open that uh, compost bin so I can get in there I believe the rats have been in here <clears throat> having a, a quick turn and uh, as you can see they do a cracking job can't do it one-handed obviously <clears throat> surprised that took uh, quite a bit of breaking up but uh, by the time we've added the stalks from the uh, nettles that we steeped this is going to be a smelly job do I do it now or do I do it later because once I get covered in it Mrs K is not going to let me in the house anyway but got to do it got to keep filming I've uh, even got a, a mini worm ball in there. That's <laughs> healthy stuff. I'll cl collect the last bit out of here and we'll see if we can start straining it. I'll show you how I do that. So this is the bottom half of an uh, IBC, a thousand uh, litre container that was damaged. I cut it down uh, for use elsewhere. The uh, on-off tap doesn't work very well, but this is ideal for me uh, this year. And uh, there's the uh, waste paper basket from home. Mrs K didn't want that back for some reason but it does help in uh, removing uh, some of the solids. Well, all the solids, should we say. Excuse me, the time it takes to put the gloves on, but once this gets into your hands, you cannot get it out.
as we get to the bottom you get all the thicker stuff then it becomes difficult for it to uh, come out the uh, mesh show you that shortly once we uh, get to the bottom of this always best to have some decent gloves on These are thermal gloves, ideal for working in water when it gets really cold. Let's just uh, empty the bucket again. We'll just let that uh, dribble out on its own, then I can get it pressure washed at home, ready for uh, next year. Not sure what you can actually uh, see there, but there's not a lot. But it's uh, nice just to get uh, rid of uh, most of uh, the uh, bigger stuff that we couldn't get out with the uh, the fork and my nettle uh, plant food now is topped up do i have a sell by date use by date no i don't if it stinks it's still good so uh the uh, robins uh disappeared for some reason and uh, some of those solids will pop them as uh, into the uh, compost bin and whilst pouring it in that container yeah I got some splashback. Doesn't taste very nice at all. That was uh, really good, uh, not timing, but uh, a good amount. That's uh, pretty well everything in there. And uh, all we have to do now, normally I have to give it a stir, but obviously it's had a uh, lot of uh, movement uh, as he misses the, uh, the bucket completely. But just a reminder, if you get any liquid plant foods that you make, uh, when you put it into uh, a water, your clean water, any material that goes in there might turn the water bad because the, uh, all the organisms uh, might start uh, multiplying. Don't have to worry because I missed the bucket completely. So I do like to try and keep uh, everything clean as and when we can. Not sure on whether I'm keeping that or not, but I only use it once a year, but it's such a useful uh, piece of kit. This has been washed out. This can now be used as a water barrel if I need it. This one hasn't got the holes in the top like my water barrels to let water in uh, for obvious reasons, because if it rains, then the water that does come goes uh, straight into the barrel and uh, it's surprising how much water you can collect just uh, from the, uh, the surface area of that. Even though it's not very warm, uh, it is drying a little bit on here and here. So I've got to get working on that and I've got to clear this area now. And uh, we've got lots of uh, holly leaves which I like to clear up and uh, put in the municipal uh, green waste bin because uh, they don't half give you a little nip. So we'll get all this tidied up, we'll get the trommel out, get that in position and it won't be long before we're sifting um, the uh, leaves that we collected in 2020. 21, 22... Oh, I can't think. These are the leaves we collected in 2021, so those must be the leaves we collected in 2020. Please remember, thumbs up, thumbs down, and if you want to see what I'm getting up to all this uh, winter, hello, Mr. Robin, then uh, please consider subscribing.
Lots to do. And my allotments. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.